uh, we we just came upon this paper and then uh, uh, titled the guru effect by dan Sh- sperber mm-hmm. uh where he came up with an interesting idea which we often tend to look over uh and we delved deeper into it looked at some other stuff and decided that this is good enough material to really have a charged up interesting debate yeah, over yeah definitely a little bit i'm like half excited about this topic and also half a bit nervous mm-hmm. because i just want to get it you don't want to trade that word yeah i i want i want to i want to get it straight i want to do i want to do this right because it's a, as I, again as i said it's something that i consider to be very interesting and and, and very important mm-hmm. uh, your if you instinctively don't understand something because it has been said in a profound way you just take it for granted as a fact of uh, uh, as a fact or as something that is true that uh, holds for you even without having to really go through it in a very rigorous manner you kind it. of let your critical guard down yes when actually just coming out of science uh, uh, a wonderful example of how creative interpretations can get is just typing on google on all the different theories the flat earth no. uh, believers come up with. <laughs> like that's some beautiful Sometimes level backwards and of uh, interpretation right <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, I mean <laughs> just to fit in with your confirmation Which bias is, the kind of beautiful concepts you can amazing. come up with. It's <laughs> amazing. I I, I cannot I, I cannot uh, do that with literature for instance. What is uh, sometimes I I struggle like like uh, uh, Murakami for instance. I've never read this guy. Uh, but uh, I I, I, I read Salman Salman Rushdie. I I recently read two books from Murakami which are supposed to be uh, really really good. they're decent <laughs> but i i don't i, I personally That's very don't politically correct yeah but but I, when, when or, you, or what lewis carroll does that, that's another amazing uh, amazing uh, uh-huh. literary character i would say who just writes it just comes from pure randomness uh-huh. right and then there are people who sometimes just derive these meanings out of it and then it's all very profound for some people sometimes it becomes really profound as well because you have already guru eyes somebody yeah so that no, now at that point it just doesn't matter you yeah. cannot go wrong yeah. you... and now it's time for for me to reveal my you call it personal vendetta but i disagree with that description because full disclosure i'm going to i'm going to trash jordan peterson no i'm not going to trash jordan peterson <laughs> What I'm going to do is representative of the book. I'm not I'm not kidding. You find this this way of operating all throughout some in some chapters more than others, but so there are some chapters that are entirely dedicated to find the answer to that question through interpretations of the biblical text yeah. from beginning to end. I got to make a map. Yeah, you know, yeah, I'm going to yeah. I'm going to try to explain to you what the chapter number 2 is about. Go for it. Which is called Uh, treat yourself like someone you are responsible for helping. Yeah. And uh I here's where the guru part comes in because I had to I had to do the map because there was no way for me to start from his initial question and premises yeah. and reach to his conclusion through some I, I couldn't pursue the idea on my own in the terms of 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 Martha Nussbaum. Mm-hmm. I had to follow his writing. There's no other way to get it. Yeah. So, he starts with this this chapter with a question. There's a question to answer. And the question is 